how you can organize the test structure of the framework. Also, we will write a first three lines of code and I will show you a concept of the promises. So you need to understand what the promise is about and when to use keyword await and when not to use this keyword. So let's get into it. And we continue the class in the project PW practice app. We will start writing our first tests here. So before I begin, I will quickly install Playwright into this project npm init playwright at latest. It looks like I need to pass a dash dash force command as well. Yes, yes, true. Yes, and everything is installed. We can see that playwright config is showed up. Package.json, if we scroll this down, the new library added into the package.json. Everything looks good. So we have test folder, we have test examples folder. We can delete test examples folder. We don't need it in our project, move to trash. And we don't need examples test.spec. We can delete it as well, move to trash. And under the test folder, we create a new file and we call it first test.spec.ts. Okay, so we starting from scratch. This is the empty file and how to write tests in our empty file. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to import test method from the playwright library. How to do that? It's import, then we provide the name of the method, which is test, and we import it from playwright test. That's it. Then we call this method, which call test, and this is the pretty much body of our test. Test can accept two parameters. First parameter is the name of the test. Let's call it the first test. And the first parameter after comma will be an actual test method. And then we use a JavaScript fat arrow syntax to open the function body. So that's it. This is the most minimum structure of the how test is constructed. And then you can put as many tests as you want inside of this file and just providing a different names to these files. So how can you group your test as well? So you can group your test into kind of test suites uh, as part of the same test file using a keyword describe. So you use test.describe, then you can provide any description of your test suite, for example, test suite one, then comma, and then put the function here. And then inside of the test describe, you can put the little tests and you can create two test suites like that, for example. And the context of these two test suites will be separated. For example, you can put other some precondition for these three tests and a different precondition for these three tests. And the context between them will be completely separated. So uh, let me remove this. And in order to start writing the test, we need to pass as the argument into our test function the playwright page fixture. Page is one of the fixtures of the playwright. We have browser fixture, page fixture, and the page represents pretty much as the blank page of the browser. So think about it. In order to run the test, we need to open a new page of the browser, and then we can do with this page whatever we want. And then we called this argument, which we pass in our function, we call page, and then dot and inside of the page we have a lot of different methods that playwright provides us in order to pretty much use this framework so the very basic method to open the uh, web page is go to and uh, we provide the url to our application in our example it is localhost 4200 so let me run the application npm start 
and I provide the paste URL into our page. And uh, let me try to run it, but it's going to fail and I will show you why. So I'm trying to run this test and it's kind of loaded, but we have an error over here that browser has been closed. So what actually happened here? If we hover over the go to method, we see that the return type of the go to method is a promise. So what is promise in a few words? Promise is a type of the JavaScript method that can return two types of the results. It can be successful result or unsuccessful result. When a result is successful, promise considered as a result and provide the result of the execution. If it was not successful, a promise returned the error message. Also, the one of the definition of promise is that it has a timeout of the execution. So promise can wait for the successful execution. And if we try to run the command like that, what happens, uh, Playwright or JavaScript, it just doesn't wait for the promise to be executed and trying to run forward and we face it with a uh, called a race condition. So for us, in order for this code to work, we need promise to wait until it's going to be resolved. And we need to use a keyword, await. But we see that some red squigglies over here and something doesn't like. So await expressions can be used only in a synchronous function. That's why when we use await function always should be asynchronous. So we type a keyword async. That's it. And now we resolved all the issues. And if we try to run this one more time, everything works application opened and we don't have any error messages. So one more thing. This is very important concept about the playwright. For those playwright methods that have a promise response type, you need to use keyword await in front of this command because some of the playwright commands are not promises. They have a different return types. And in those examples, you do not need to use await in front of this command. And this is a very often mistake for the beginners when you know you're typing your code and it doesn't work for some reason you cannot understand why and it's simply because you forgot to put a weight somewhere in your code so keep in mind uh, keep an eye on what commands are you using are they promises or not and if they are keep the word await in front of the command execution all right, and let's just make a couple of steps inside of our application to prepare it for the next lesson. So let me run it one more time. This is the browser. And let's say we want to click on the forms and navigate to the form layouts. So it will open this page with the forms layouts uh, with a nice input fields where we're going to practice. So we can navigate here just by text. And I'm going to use a wait page get by text forms and I want to perform a click and again await page get by text and the second text after that is form layouts and I want to click on that as well and let's see how the first test would work for us and perfectly work fine first we open the page then we click on the forms then on the forms layout and forms layout page is opened so let's quickly summarize what we did in this lesson we installed a playwright framework in into our new project we created a new test file first test.spec.ts and we set up a first Test. Each test method have import of the page fixture that gives us access to all playwright methods that we use to interact with the framework. And the most important rule to remember, for the playwright commands that return a promise type, you need to use a wait keyword in front of this command when you want to execute it in order to avoid issues and race conditions. All right, thank you guys and see you in the next lesson.